congratulations on the film. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you have one of the funniest scenes in this film, I have to say. All these, all these, there's a, I think there's a, should we say bollocking that you give? Yes, yes. Uh, Tell me about that to perform because it's, it's a very funny, but comedy is quite difficult. Do you, do you find it quite difficult as an actor to do comedy? Because I can imagine you have to find a way to make it translate onto the screen. I, I think the trick is always uh, to uh, to play it very straight and for real and to take it incredibly seriously as a character because they don't think they're in a comedy. This is an extremely serious situation and, uh, you know, there's nothing to laugh about. And the more you go down that path, the, the funnier hopefully it will be. Um, I, I mean, you shouldn't find it funny, but the audience hopefully will. But it was, it's it was great to do. I love. I love being. I love performing comedy. Yeah. So. A, there's a great energy to comedy as as well. I can imagine yeah. when you're in the room and the other actors. Yeah, there's a certain energy to. And it to certainly it. relies on on the energy and the, the rhythm you build up with the other actors. You know, it's not a solo thing really. So you, you you know when it works well and with this cast. I mean, I was just like working with the most extraordinary actors, some of my heroes. You know, and um, it was just a joy. It was effortless really, mainly because they were so brilliant. Yeah. I was just talking to your some of your wonderful co-stars about what the power the power of wearing a police person's uniform does what was yes. it like wearing it and then becoming a policeman i can imagine well, it's quite it's endearing I was, I was walking around uh the town we were filming in on the south coast and obviously i was still in costume and, I, and there was a little deli there and i got served very quickly because i was dressed as a police superintendent <laughs> yeah. mind you from the 1930s but it was it was um you you walk upright and you do kind of go mm, so I'm, my posture suddenly got a lot better <laughs> but you know you also you also part of me goes God, I bet I look really pompous. Um, but yeah, no, it, it really it really helps with the character. Also shoes. As the, Thora Heard always famously, famously said, start with the shoes. Start with the shoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that was what Heath Ledger says when he played the Joker. It was like the shoes first. Thora had to get the, the this is, they're, they're, they're geniuses, let's say that. Um, in terms of this movie, I mean, we've been semi-bereft of like comedies like this, especially in the cinema. They kind of go to streaming and everything else. This feels like it's a film made for the communal experience for, for cinemas. Is that how you guys feel yeah, with this film? definitely. I mean, I feel like we've all been through so much with lockdown and then we had the sag after strike which really affect, affected our industry and I think people, I think uh, I think it's uh, really bucked expectations just how much people want a shared experience of being in a, a massive cinema with a bunch of strangers to experience a story hopefully well told together. I think that's that's just, it's, all, it's great watching stuff at home but I think nothing can beat the live, the, the experience of coming out and being in an actual cinema. Um, and the focus, we've got nothing to distract you, it's just you and that screen and, you know, 700 strangers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey!